rash. We know, we get it. Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals. Today's video is going to be a review on the new Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free. Now, this has a matte finish, unlike its counterpart, the uh, original Tinted Moisturizer, which had a natural type of glowy finish. I have a full review that I did on this, I don't know, like two years ago? No, a year ago. I will link that below if you would like to see. I will be comparing these throughout the video. So if you would like to hear that, don't worry, you will be hearing that, but for a full comprehensive review on this guy, that will be below. If you're not familiar with my skin type, hi, hello, you must be new. I have very dry, irritable, redness prone, texturized skin. And especially right now, I'm still struggling with a little bit of an immune rash issue across my cheeks. This is gonna be a good, all day wear tests, I have some errands to run. See how this stands up to the test of kind of humidity and a little bit of rain. Also, no primer. The new oil-free tinted moisturizer retails for $47 and you get 1.7 fluid ounces, which is great because with tinted moisturizer, sometimes you need to use more than a regular foundation so you have that room to build up. This does have an SPF of 20, and what I thought was interesting, the original, the natural finish one has an SPF of 30. They are both the same price. This finish is matte completely, so I'm excited to see a tinted moisturizer that's actually a matte finish. I do appreciate a matte finish on my skin, even though if it's dry, if it does a good job of not enhancing the dryness on my skin. It says it has oil absorbing powders to help keep the skin shine free with a natural demi matte finish. It has licorice root extract that soothes irritated or troubled skin and vitamin E to help protect against damaging effects of the sun. I have the shade in 2W1. I am, whoop, I am a little uh, self tan normally in Laura Mercier foundations without any type of self tan. I am a one in two. So I'm just gonna put a little on the back of my hand, about that much. And I'm gonna dot this on the center of my face and where I would like most coverage. I'm going to use a beauty sponge. You can use your hands with a tinted moisturizer. I just prefer this just because my skin is so irritated. Okay, that has a nice coverage. It does have an SPF scent. It's not too bad though. Right off the bat, I mean, my skin is pretty texturized. I have a full rash that's just deciding not to go away um, right here. So I understand that nothing is going to actually you know, reduce that. I just don't want it to enhance it. And by the way, underneath, I just have my normal skincare on. So as you can see, that's about one layer of product. My hair is already frizzing. I straightened it earlier, so we know we are going to be battling some humidity today. Been storming all week. Okay, so I would like to build it up right here. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just so you can see a little better. I feel like this definitely just lays a nice layer of coverage over the skin. I'm not currently seeing any buildup around dryness. Doesn't say, oh yeah, a blurred matte finish. It might take a second, you know, sometimes it takes a second for products to really kind of sit in. So I'm just gonna build this up around my problem areas and see how much coverage we can get and see, you know, I feel like you could build this up to a medium coverage. I feel like that's, I feel like that's medium coverage, which is really nice with a tinted moisturizer. This definitely has more coverage than a skin tint, but not, you know, like full on coverage, like a light coverage foundation, I would say. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm not seeing any crazy buildup or cakiness, but I will say this, I haven't worn makeup in like a week or so, and I feel like this is really showing me where I have some skin issues I didn't really realize I had. Definitely doesn't make one feel confident. It's okay, we'll get through this. Uh, skin rash situation. This is about, probably I would consider this one and a half pump tinted moisturizer. Mmm, we're done. I really like the coverage. I don't feel like it's dried down to a demi matte finish just yet. So I'm gonna wait for a second and then I'm gonna apply just a cream blush. 
some really light makeup and then see what this looks like. It's settled down and I have the rest of my face on in natural lighting, but so far I feel like kinda dewy. The SPF scent is going away. This doesn't feel sticky, but it also, what I really appreciate about both of these, now that I have tried this one, I really appreciate that they're not liquidy. They're not runny. You have work time. You can build it up. There really is no cakiness around my problem areas. So far, it just looks like I have a nice layer of coverage on. So I'm gonna quickly put the rest of my face on and then we will test this out. Okay, so my makeup has sat down a little bit, settled down. I think I was just telling Chewy to sit down. That's why that came out of my mouth. Really quickly, all I did was fill in my brows. I applied for concealer, the Laura Mercier Flawless Concealer in 1.5W, just because my dark circles were kind of getting on my nerves. And for blush, I used the e.l.f. Putty Blush from Caribbean, and I, oof, really pretty. No bronzer today. I almost don't want to put highlight on, but also I want to wear what I would normally wear to see how this works, and I have been Oh, dying over the new M Cosmetics Moonbeam highlighters, and this is in the shade Halo. So this is very, very subtle, and I feel like it's not gonna take away from the finish of this. Right now, as it's drying down, I did powder underneath my eyes, but as it's settling down, I do feel like it's mattifying, and I don't feel like just highlighting my cheekbones just because I'm addicted to that is gonna take away from the finish. And this just gives the most subtle highlight, so it's not gonna take away from too much. You can build this up and really kind of glow, but it looks more like a skin type of glow. For lips, I'm gonna use my friend Rachel Beauty Professor's new collab with O Natural Cosmetics. And this is a lip, liquid lip stain in the shade LA. It's the most beautiful, like nudie pink shade. And I'm just gonna apply this. It's like a your lip set better, very creamy. Since I have some errands to run, you know, liquid lipstick really helps. I think this will go really well. Actually, it's right next to me, so I'm gonna use it. This is a Rachel's other collab that she did with O Natural. This is the Lip Liner in Slipper. I feel like that is a really pretty combo. Congratulations, Rachel, you deserve it. Incredible. Oh, look at this lip shade. I feel so pretty today. I didn't spray this with spray. I'm just gonna see how it would wear like I would normally wear, I think it started raining, like I would normally wear a tinted moisturizer in the summer and we'll see how it wears at the end of the night but also throughout the day. And let's go see this in some natural light. Here we are in absolute natural. I don't know if I can lean out here enough. You can see in the sunlight, but um, here we go. I don't know, I can't see because I'm directly under the sun. So hopefully you guys can see. Rash, we know, we get it. But I feel like I really do, let's come in the shade just for a second. I really do feel like this did a really nice job for something that's matte on dry, dry skin, especially the irritation on my skin right now. I feel like it really helped blur, like it said, not blur my pores, but just overall give me a blurring effect that I wouldn't normally see with a tinted moisturizer. So I would say so far after just applying the rest of my makeup and coming out here, the difference is definitely clear between the two tinted moisturizers. This is definitely more of a matte finish. Um, I would agree demi matte because once before it says matte and then in the description it said demi matte. I would say demi matte. It's had a good 30 minutes to set, settle. Um, it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. It feels like more coverage than I expected. So I really like that about it, especially right now. You saw how I built it up. The other one I felt like, even though they both say they're light coverage, I feel like the other one is definitely more luminous, but definitely lighter coverage. So really interesting. I like both so far. We'll see how this wears. Like I said, I powdered underneath my eyes. You know, my normal dry spots are between my brows, along my cheeks, my nose, but I think we're so far so good. So let's see the rest of the day and how this goes. This chewy, please. This is a little update. So many things while I was out and about because it was just really quick but it's been a couple hours. I feel like the wear on this is really nice. I even wore a mask a couple times and uh, I have no studio lights on, just this really awful light. But so far, I really like the wear. It's not moving around my skin. It's not 
gathering in any weird spots. I have leg day today, so I'm gonna do a light leg day workout and then show you guys what that looks like. I can't think. I just finished the lower body wise is on F2 setting. What's happening? I just finished my workout. Uh, it was about an hour. Some of it broke down around where I have a rash around my nose because my honestly my nose started running while I was working out and sweating and so that kind of came off but overall I mean if I had to go somewhere right after the gym like the grocery store or something like that it's not like it's all off of my face there's still some decent coverage the dryness is starting to look a little dry but there's nothing like abnormal about this wear after sweat in a full day of wear I will check back in later right before I go to bed I'm gonna leave this on you know and sweat and all and see how long it lasts. So far for a tinted moisturizer, pretty impressed. The end of the night and I feel like this lasted pretty well. Um, overall, I like it just as much as the luminous one. It did mattify, like I said, throughout the day. I think it's great for dry skin. I highly recommend if you have dry skin to give this a try if you are a fan of matte finishes as well. One last close up not too bad i feel like this is definitely going to be in my roundup for the summer i know look how bad that rash is but honestly even after a workout it didn't enhance it so pretty impressed i hope you guys enjoyed this please give this video a thumbs up if you did subscribe and hit all notifications just wanted to show you guys what the luminous laura mercier tinted moisturizer looks like i basically have the same makeup on as i did yesterday except lashes this is what it looks like in natural lighting i really feel like they're very similar but after the matte one sets a little bit it is much more matte than this coverage about the same i feel like the matte one has maybe just a tad bit more coverage because i did have to build it up a little bit uh where i have my problem areas right now but this is comparing to what I wore yesterday and this is a different shade and I forget the shade right now I'll have it on the screen I feel like this might be more my shade than the other the matte version so I don't know but dryness not bad you know much more of a luminous look still very natural great tinted moisturizer like I said I will leave my original review for this one in the info below I'll have everything else that I'm wearing as well in the info below